Uh, hi, Amlan. How are you? Hello, sir. I'm fine. What about you, sir? I'm good. Amlan, got to know that you selected any HCL technology as a data analyst. So yes, how is your feeling now, Amlan? I'm really feeling very excited, sir, and uh, waiting to join soon and waiting to have a, like, I think I will have a great journey there. Uh, seems like you are joining tomorrow in HCL technology. Yes, sir. Okay. Tomorrow. Good. Congratulations. I'm the really you. No, happy for you, Amlan. So like like you, there's a thousand of people are look, you know, they are making into planning to make a career into data profile related job. They want to transition. So like me and including all the audience who are watching this video, they want to know what is your career journey? Can you please elaborate so that people can get clear picture how you landed from you know your non-technical domain to a insurance domain to a MBA background to a data uh, science and data related profile. Uh, so, so, so to begin, I would say like uh, everyone, I have also done my 10th, 12th graduation. Then after that, I have uh, done my MBA from a reputed B school in Bangalore. And thereafter, I have uh, two years of work experience uh, in SBA life, like it's a uh, life insurance company. And there I was working in the marketing and sales profile. And after that, uh, I thought uh, I was not satisfied that much. So I thought to switch my domain to data analytics. And one of my friends referred to me uh, and uh, told me about data game. And thereafter, I did a course, like it was a four month of course, uh, wherein I have learned many skills regarding to data analytics and then within weeks i am placed thanks to ranjan sir and thanks to that data gang team thanks amlan for sharing so like just want to know on behalf of audience even few student always a lot of video in youtube you will find a lot of people have a confusion like you done mba just one uh, i have few questions i'll go one by one the first question is you done MBA is not sufficient to grow your career. Then how come you again thinking to join into data science course? Sir, like if uh, like some years back or like two to three years back, somebody would have asked me like whether you would want to do MBA or data analytics course. Maybe I would have uh, then also like I have chosen MBA and still I would have chosen MBA there. Like if somebody would have asked me two years back, but if somebody is asking me right now, then I would definitely if he's a normal graduate, that's enough. Like uh, there is enough scope for people who are looking for a data analytics job. So I would definitely uh, like uh, uh, suggest them not to spend so much of money in MBA. Yeah. Rather they can true, uh, true. join data analytics course and like ready to, and they can be ready to get a job. As soon so as uh, you, as you suggested, you've done MBA from reputed college and you spent 20 lakh rupees and then now after spending 20 lakh rupees two year mba you are suggesting to you know those who would be you know uh, to make a career into uh, any any growth uh, in in uh, in good profile good job and go, good uh, of uh, growth in career you suggest you can go for a data science or a business analytics role definitely sir yeah. uh, yeah. i would say data is the future and in mba also we were taught like data is the new oil and so we were always uh, like we were always uh, uh, told that data is the future and data is everything. So I would say it's a highly uh, like a growing market and data science is the really really the future. And I would suggest everyone who are looking for a good career growth, they should definitely consider data science as a, okay. a career. So you mean if a two year MBA from a reputed MBA school on data science? you know, some, uh, uh, any any organization that will be more better compared to only MBA doing. I, even I saw the thousand people are nowadays, they're thinking after B-Tech, MBA, uh, okay, that is the, I, I don't know, they do mistake what I feel. You uh, Once you graduated or you are into done B-Tech, you should not directly jump to into MBA, what I believe. Uh, instead of, uh, even even uh, nowadays, some or, or reputed organization, they are created a, MBA in data science, MBA in data uh, business analytics. What is the difference? What you do, even you are the part of I think business uh, role in analytics role in your MBA curriculum. What is the difference uh, uh, from general college and a, a industry expert those who are into mentorship like data again? Sir, I would uh, say in our MBA time also we were 
like taught uh, different subjects related to business analytics but uh, that was not that extensive like only the basic things were taught and uh, like the course that they were in no hands on experience I mean no like how the industries yeah. we are working the tools the experience maybe the concept wise the theory wise they are sufficient but uh, when coming to the work coming to the hands on experience the real time work that is somehow it is you know lagging correct yes sir the practical knowledge is not sufficient there i would say yeah so you after working two year doing mba again you know I think this is the, uh, uh, what I believe. This is the last again. Any planning to in future? Uh, this is a, it is ending here. Your uh, I uh, know like learning is not never never ending process. But she graduated, is spending money. You know, three year again MBA, two year spending money, data science course again money. So this is going to end here. Any future planning? Uh, how how will you suggest to others? Uh, hopefully, sir. I think I would. I like I will not jump to any other course. Maybe I will spend money, but uh, to in something that is related to data analytics. If some new tools come to the market and if that is required, then in this field I will definitely try to learn and grow there. Okay. I don't think I will shift to anywhere anywhere else. Okay. This two year experience, like most of people are asking, maybe thinking, uh, I'm working in a bank as a sales. Uh, some people are in marketing. They want to transition. They want to change from banking two year, maybe five year, maybe ten year experience. Uh, even the you know there's hundred thousand people they already transition up to ten year experience people from other domain like bank sales, bank marketing, maybe HR. The one question just want to like from your end. I know what is there, but I want to you know know from your end how you uh, justify at the time of interview when two year experience somebody into sales and marketing how they will be justify an interview like i was a, i was a working data profile uh, sir in interview i don't think anyone will face any problem if they are go good at their concepts and like they have understood uh, whatever like uh, whatever they have they have been taught or related to data uh, because in interview uh, they normally ask what is your experience so we have to just uh, let them know that because sir everyone has worked in data like Correct. maybe any profile sales marketing hr we all get data, MIS data. We all get, we in some part of our career, we have always worked with data. So to to the interviewers, we can always convince them like that, like we can say to them, we have worked in data, we have uh, clean, cleaned the data, we have manipulated the data. So it's not, it, I don't think it yeah, will be- somehow, a... somehow everybody, even they were talking about a sales, a marketing, HR, they are without data, nothing. So a salesperson also using data. So you need to be, uh, I think you need to be mentorship. You need to be the learn properly the skills here. The when the you know when the you engage and involve with the project, when you engage with any any kind of uh, uh, work, so you will get to know what exactly how uh, you know the process from is uh, you know from data to insight using say number of uh, tools and technique. How you are applying the you know model, how designing, how you are applying the concept, what are the different tools required while working. So I think we require four month intern you know work and should be guidance is required. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Thanks for um, Amlan. Thank so you. So like you. next question is like is that fast interview you will get selected? Yeah, there is a rejection also you faced. Most of people like even your batchmate also. One thing I want to be able to say. Some people are attending interview, they got the rejected, some people will get the interview all round clear, but final offer rate, they're telling some whole, what is that? How will be, you know, explained to the people who are watching the video? How they will be faced this challenge? I just remember one line from like, it's a quote, maybe I don't remember who has said it, but uh, it is there that the line is uh, either we win or we learn. So if the interview goes well, we win, like we get the offer and all. If we don't get the interview, we don't crack the interview, then we learn. Like we learn from our mistakes, like where, uh, what questions they have asked, we can note it down and uh, we can figure out like uh, where did we do the mistake? Like uh, what is the query we cannot write or what was the question that uh, was tricky or something. So then we can figure out the solution and for the next round of interview, we can be more prepared. And after a point of time, like after five to six interviews, uh, it will really feel easy. Like uh, yes. almost all the questions True. would have been uh, like you would be knowing all the questions. So exactly. That one.
difficult so time. rejection your uh, if you tell simplify this question rejection is good or bad i would definitely say rejection is good so um, even i can uh, add here like your rejection that's good even initially you can go up to four five ten interview rejection is fine probably you know you learn from there you try to make a note from the interview like what you are uh, uh, like the question what are the new question is coming when new concept they're asking or new tool is asking you can try to learn even if you're not able to cover all the things what is there you can make a note and try to some basic uh, knowledge uh, i think uh, when you attend a four to five or even ten interview you, you know that next interview is yours only i don't think any any challenge will be faced and once you are build up once you done this process whole life is there enter life you are getting job once make a st standard structure your career you are make a shape designing to ready to go for next le uh, level that is uh, you know what i believe from my end yeah Yes, so, that is absolutely right, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So failed rejection is good. Definitely, sir. Okay. What What would be your suggestion to uh, you know the student or professional who are planning to make a career even two thousand twenty three such a great year? Why it is a great year? The first thing the data science when other or entire world is telling like recession is starting, the data science is more and more hiring is going on. The company, MNC company, they're looking number of a data science. There is a huge shortage of a candidate, uh, uh, you know. And second thing, that learn properly. You learn properly. Most of people are taking data science, mean only Python, machine learning, and AI. There is a, you know, number of things we need to learn properly. Even you can go for, a, you know, instead of going for high skills, you go for what required if you're into non-technical. Okay? Yes, so, sir, you have also mentioned that... Uh... Yeah. Like you have also previously mentioned that SQL and Excel is that like yeah. it's enough. Sometimes Excel is only enough to be a data analyst because and, it's also uh, again thing additional that the great year means the five G launches and most of students thinking you know I'll go for offline classes or offline. No, I don't think it's time to again thinking you know bag after you know after three year online live even work from home concept is data profile related is going to permanently. There's no changes. What I believe. Okay, so 5G launches, even the network issue challenges in India. Now, I think within after six months of, uh, uh, you know, in after June and July, entire India is connecting to 5G. Right. It will be easy to access. You can go to maybe in a small village of India. You can stay there. You are a graduate. Maybe you are, you know, uh, you are from like it difficult to come out from home or you want to wherever you want to start a career in the entire world now is you know in, in your screen you can enjoy sitting at your home with your family with your parent without spending lakhs of rupees not required mba uh, not any higher degree like mba not required any any uh you know uh one year or two year data science course even even i always suggest that you don't require to pay any even single rupees if you are a good mentor with you, even you can learning some skills like SQL launch from SQL, Excel, and some, you know, uh, build a project yourself and make a, you know, a transition that. That will help you to everybody. Definitely. Yeah, that's. So thanks, Amblan, and uh, thanks for your uh, time. And uh, anything else you want to tell or will. Uh, uh, no, sir, I would just like to thank the entire team and um, to thank to you especially, sir, for uh, uh, making the transition more smooth and more easier for me and for many people like me who are looking to uh, do something in the data space. Thank you. Thanks, Amla. All the best for your future you. and new job. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.